Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some men boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Yuma, my man, that was easy to Tommy. When they start to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She should show sure will, Tom. Thanks. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summer. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Hmm. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Is this your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors for my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Well, starts to try to clear us out before. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sideline at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Great run, Tommy. Christ, you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. 
Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. did real good today, Tommy, with the, with the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's race. And... That is some bad shit, Tom. <laughs> hey, this ain't the racetrack, Tom. What was I saying? What, what, what was I saying? That is some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me. You can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home. <laughs> Trying to make me feel even worse. So, um, anyway, yeah. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Tom, Look to the scene of known pursuit. <laughs> Pursue and arrest. Bring him in. There's a reason the racers of the Lost Heaven Grand Prix you did real good Trigo today, Tommy, with the, and that's because only Trigo with the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? Go, go, go. I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. Put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's race. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Works quarter. All right, stop right where you are. We lost him somewhere in the works quarter. What was I saying? What, what was I saying? 
You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sake. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the lady! What's up, my home? Brought me home. Mm, maybe. Maybe that. Yeah. A good idea. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. <sighs> yeah, that's the cold, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. <laughs> Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's a tough. Uh, this is a pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder this punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is close. What's this, then? Uh, Tom is... Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. You dreaming or something? I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about ya. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about ya. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. 
Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signora? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? Will you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi? Then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Ah, so now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Hey, let's go someplace, tomorrow night maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, this <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going there, sweet <clears throat> cheeks? Back off! Hey! Billy's right. You're ah. kind of dish, ain't you? Ah. 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 Twist like ah. you's pissed ah. on that creature. Hey. Good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. 
Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And it heats out. That's up, though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting.
Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. Showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? I got guys calling after Sarah in the street. Hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets, that's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's wear else and, uh. Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but. They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not I won't. Thanks, Vinny. Time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he caught yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. How you doing? Fuck my low chin. They turn all day chin. Don't they send some soil get him by such a light? Dog face. Great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs. Please. More young a fight. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a ship in a suits. Class, it's Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. The Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, he'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. The 
here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> Guys better. Billy, we got a roll now. Come on. 
Come here, pal. Johnny, get down! Oh, come back, come back. Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! Come on, we can't lose him! I'm reloading! Oh, careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got That's this. That's all of them. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see them tripping out the back of their car. Guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Come on, you're better than this! They think they're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have! Some son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Go on a pop, you thought. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? 
We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom, but we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Infantry troops then entered several of them. Michelle. She's the one from the race track, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. 
gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else they should know? Nah. Just don't take all day. A lot of died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not... What's with you today, Tom? Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All this. You got a death wish or something? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, it's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great guy, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope, too. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You, too. Behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watched the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. Ooh, just how I like them. Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. 
No Michelle. I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like and don't make a fuss. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the only ones available. You get a room when you get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. <laughs> she's in, but she's busy. Downtown 1702. He don't care. He wants you here. Is he dying? Then it don't matter. You need to come in. Leave him. The lady next door if you need to. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is, you gotta come in and work. Listen, you wanna go back to the rest of the girls on the corner of Six and Maple? Then be my guest. You told me what it was like. The fur coat and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, it'll seem worse. Hey! What what are you what are you doing? This place ain't for you. Come here. Tiger.
this show? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works with Don Cellieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I will never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. Difficult choice to make, huh? The friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. The working man expects too much. I mean, we provide the industry, they provide the manpower. They get paid. That's where it ends. Just do it. Um, can I help you? Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? The manager having to play nice with his new friend. New friends turn up with Tommy guns? That's what you do. Thank you. 
you lost? Don't make any moves. No one gets hurt. He's going. Over here!
Suspect is escaping over the rooftops. I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. He's up here with us. Ah, oh, shit. There, on the roof with us. Uh, oh, you get by, didn't you? Uh, I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. He's up here with us. He's mine. On the roof with us. Oh, you just fine, didn't you?
I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down. <laughs> Doing you a favor. Keeping you out of the chair. fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh, I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! <laughs>
this is what was Billy involved in. Over here! you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Roosevelt Where are they no now? The same place as all these guys. All come on, we gotta go. Get him! 
There's no end to these guys. Go grab some first aid. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. It's a hurt. Let's go. Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? What's getting run by the nuts? Don't pull that trigger. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. There he is. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. Where the hell was that? In the hearse. Let's go. Are you kidding? It's got weevils, don't it? We can run and find another for sure. We got cops everywhere. Uh. Everybody get! He's in a car. Apprehend as soon as you can. <clears throat> well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Ugh. Giving up yet? Don't think so. They must have called out every cup in the city. Come on, Tommy, lose them. I'm trying.
hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back down. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. Are you kidding? Let's run, find another. Sure. But we got cops everywhere. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the house, let's go. Uh, uh, are you kidding? Bring it up now. Don't it? We can run find another church. We got cops everywhere. Got some other guys in there! The suspect and accomplice escaping in a hurry. I repeat, a hurry. Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. Officers are worth their clothes in it. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Be advised, roadblock in position. Uh. Oh. Cars reported him in North Park. They given up yet? Don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. He's not in the vehicle. Move in now. Get to his side. Come on, Tommy. Lose him. I'm trying. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go! Are you kidding? It's got wheels, don't it? We can run find the church. We got cowboys. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. 
swarm of perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let him out. In the hearse, let's go! Are you kidding? He's got wheels, don't oh. move! Well, today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive, or we'll end up in the back. Yeah, the suspect's been lost downtown. We'll find him. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. They given up yet? I don't think so. They must have called out every cop in the city. Okay, we lost them. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut, don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. 